What's up guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to blend oil pastels. And so I just got these new, uh, this new set, which is by Karen Dash, and they're the Neo Pastels. And so I'm just gonna blend these two colors in four different ways. So there are you know, several different ways that you can do this. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. And I've just taped some Bristol board strips to into my sketchbook because I find that Bristol board is a really nice paper to use with oil pastels. It's just really smooth and it's a thick paper. So if you're gonna be um, using any kind of oil with your pastels, then it's a good paper to have. Okay, so the first way to blend oil pastels is to simply use your finger. So you can literally just smudge the colors together and especially with this higher quality artist grade oil pastel, you can see how easily it is for me to blend these oil pastels with my finger. No problem at all and it looks super smooth. I just kind of go in circular motions and as you can see the bluer darker color is a little bit more dominant. So. Um, that's fine for this exercise, but if I wanted to get some more of this, I would just add some more of the um, pink color. It's actually light purple violet, so I could do that for, um, for that. Okay, and so the next technique, let's get some more pastel on our paper. And you can see how my <laughs> fingers are kind of um, covered now in the pastel, which is fine. So I'm just getting these right up beside each other. I'm not going on top of them for this one. And so for the next one, we're just gonna blend with a tortillion which is this little guy right here. It's a drawing utensil. And I've actually never tried this, so let's just see how it goes. I think it's just a good option if you don't wanna get your fingers dirty. So as you can see, these are blending just fine. It does feel like slightly rougher than using my finger, but it is a good option. And you can see it does get on this tool, so you might have to have one tool per color or one for like warms or cools. But yeah, overall it does a nice job and I could totally see myself using this potentially for skin tones and things like that. All right, so let's head to the next way to blend. And that is by going to be using blah. And that is by using some kind of oil. Now, a lot of people like to use um, baby oil, but these oil pastels are actually made out of mineral oil. So that's what I'm choosing to use. And so you just grab some mineral oil and a Q-tip and just dip your Q-tip in the mineral oil. and start spreading. Now this will thin out your oil pastels a little bit, so you may have to come back on top. 
or just kind of get more on your on your swab so that you can really mix the color well. Okay, and then the fourth and final way to mix oil pastels is a little technique I like to call scrubbing. And it's just sort of a motion that is gonna allow you to kind of run your pastels on top of each other. So you can see how they naturally kind of blend just as you draw the colors on top of each other like this. And you can come back with a darker color and kind of darken this up and go back in to the mixed area with your darker color. If you need to And this gets a lot of pigment on the paper. So you're adding a lot of layers. So you can just come back and forth with the dark and the light until you get the kind of desired color that you're going for, the desired blending effect. You can also come in with a bit of a lighter hand so you're not scrubbing quite so hard um, as you're adding kind of some finishing touches and getting the blend to look a little bit smoother. Now, if you have mineral spirits, then that is another um, technique that you can use with oil pastels. I don't like to work with <laughs> the mineral spirits in my house because it does have a bit of an odor and it's just not quite so healthy. So these are the four ways that I like to blend oil pastels. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments um, and I'll see you in the next video. And oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and like this video if you got something out of it. Bye guys, see you in the next video.